All right, so now that we have winning and losing figured out, um, it looks a little bit messy that we keep the ball and the paddles on screen when we win or lose. So let's clean that up right now. So all we have to do, we're in the ball right now, we'll go to looks, go down to the hide block, and drag it in right over here. So when I receive game over, hide the ball, and then stop everything. Then go into the paddle, do the same thing here. When I receive game over, hide the paddle and then stop everything. And do the same thing for your opponent. Bam. So now if we run the code, it'll go through. Um, the game will be played. And then when the game ends, instead of the screen looking a little messy with the paddle and or with both paddles and the ball on the screen, they will be gone. And if I can lose, there we go. So now we've got player two wins ball and the paddles are gone it looks a little nicer um, but if we hit play again we broke something so what's happening here is when we reach game over we're telling scratch to hide these sprites but when we start the game again we're never telling scratch hey you should probably show these sprites so we can actually play the game so what we have to do is grab a show block and drag it up, put it right under the go to coordinates. So what this is going to tell Scratch now is for right now we're an opponent. When I receive start, go to these coordinates and then show up. Show on the screen so we can actually play the game. And then we'll go into paddle and we're going to do the same thing right under the go to coordinates. And then we'll go to the ball do the exact same thing looks show right under the go to coordinates now notice with the ball we have go to coordinates there and in this big block here this block does not need a show block in it because while we're running through this we're never going to hide the paddle or the ball sorry the only time the ball gets hidden is after the game has ended. We jump over here. And when we start the game again, we can't get back into this block until we run through here where we initialize our variables and show the ball. And then it will be visible for the rest of the game. So now if we hit green flag, everything is back to normal. And then we just have the better and cleaner ending where we take all the ex extra garbage off the screen. Uh, that's it for this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.